Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to deal with the union and the intersection of two events. Okay, let's start. To discuss union and the intersection of two events, we're going to consider several examples in this video. Okay, in this first example, we're going to consider two experiments. Okay. So the first experiment is spinning a four-section spinner marked um, red, blue, yellow, and black. And we're going to spin it once. Okay, so that's the first experiment. So can you tell me what is the sample space? So the sample space contains these four colors, right? Okay, let's have this event. Okay, again, this is not the only event. Okay, marami pang pwedeng maging events. But for this experiment, we are just going to consider this particular event. Okay, so let A be the event of spinning a yellow. So it means that A contains yellow or A is the set containing yellow. Okay, this is the second experiment. Tossing a 5 peso coin once. So, alam na natin to, no? So, if I ask you to give me the sample space, it contains this, okay? A head and a tail, all right? Okay, now, let's consider this event. Let B be the event of getting a head, okay? So, obviously, our B is the set containing a head, all right? Okay, now, we're going to get the union and the intersection of these two events, A and B. Okay, so let us recall. Now, let us take the union of these two events. Okay, ito yung symbol na yan. Okay, A, union, B. How do we get the union? Pagsasama-samahin nyo lang lahat ng mga elements ni A at ni B. Okay, so how do we do that? Ganito. Okay, so A, union, B contains yellow and head. Okay? What about their intersection? Okay? Ito naman yung symbol natin. A, intersection, B. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng intersection? Ang ibig sabihin niyan, you're going to find common elements. Yung paraw silang meron. Pero if you check, etong A, yellow ang element niya. Yung B, head. So, wala silang common. Okay? So, therefore, yung intersection nila contains nothing. Wala. Okay? We have a special symbol to denote a set that contains nothing. Eto. Okay? Yung parang zero na may slash na ganyan. Okay? Ang tawag dyan, okay? Ang tawag sa set na walang laman is an empty set. Pwede rin siyang tawaging null set or void set. Okay? So, let's have another example. Okay? Let's consider this experiment. Rolling a die twice. Okay? So, the long basis niya siya, i-roll. Okay? So, can you imagine the sample space? Okay? Sa unang roll, we have six possibilities. Right? Sa pangalawang roll, we have another set of six possibilities. To get the sample space, Diba, we need to list down all the possible outcomes. Pwede kayo gumamit ng tree diagram. But for this particular example, I think a tabular method is the best way to list down all the possible outcomes here. So here are the possible outcomes if you roll a die twice. Okay, how do we interpret these outcomes? Okay, kuha tayo dito na isa. Kunyari ito, 2-1. So, sa first roll, you get two dots, okay? Sa second roll, you get one dot, okay? So, if you count all the outcomes, we have 36 outcomes, okay? It's six times six. Now, let's consider these two events, okay? The first event is the event of getting equal dots. So, if you check our sample space, ito sila. Yan. So, event A contains the following elements. Now, let's have the second event. 
Okay? Let D be the event of getting a sum of A. Okay? So, wag niyong iisa-isahin itong i-add. Okay? Ang dami niyan. Ang gawin niyo, ganito. Mag-start kay sa 1. Okay? Anong kailangan kong i-add sa 1 to get an A? Diba? 7. Okay? Eh, wala naman tayong 7 dots sa die, right? So, hindi pwede ang 1. You move on to 2. Okay? Anong i-add ko sa 2 to get 8? Kasi, diba? Sum is 8. Okay? It's 6. So, pwede to. 2, 6. If you add them, you will get 8. Now, you know that 2, 6 is an element of B. Okay? Kunin nyo na rin yung 6, 2. Ito. Okay? So, yan. Okay? Kasi pag pinag-add nyo yan, you will get 8. Okay? Ano pa? So, tapos na tayo sa 2. Move on na tayo dito sa 3. Anong i-add mo sa 3 to get an 8? 5. So, pwede ito. Okay? Siyempre, kunin mo na rin yung 5, 3. Yung magkabaligtad sila. Okay? This one. Okay? And then finally, sa 4, what do you add to 4 to get an 8? It's 4 also. Okay? So, I think tapos na tayong mag-list down ng elements ng B. So, event B has the following elements. If you check, they will all give us a sum of 8. Okay? Now, let's get their union and intersection. We are just going to recall the two events. Okay? So, event A, getting um, equal dots, okay? And then, yung binaman, getting a sum of 8, okay? Let's now take the union, okay? How do you get the union again? You are going to list down all the elements in A and in B, okay? So, una, ilist down muna ninyo lahat ng nasa set A, yan ito, okay? So, kinopya ko lang lahat ng ito, okay? And then, Kay B naman. But you have to be careful. Bakit? Kasi tingnan nyo to. Kapag meron na, eto o, oh, 4-4, nasulat nyo na yung 4-4 kasi eto siya o, oh, ayan. Okay? Kapag nasulat nyo na, hindi nyo na kailangang isulat ulit. Okay? So you don't repeat elements. So that's why, ang idadagdag ko na lang dito sa union ay 2 6 3 5 5 3 6 2. Eto. Now, we get the intersection. Okay, ano yung intersection? Common elements ng dalawang given sets. And obviously, ito siya, oh, 4, 4. So, the intersection of A and B contains 4, 4. We have a special name for a set having one element only. Okay, isa lang yung laman. It is called a unit set or a singleton. All right? Okay, let's have another example. Okay? Para mas ma-embrace ninyo ang union and intersection of two sets. Okay? Let's have this experiment. Choosing one of the seven lakes of San Pablo, Laguna. So, eto sila. Okay? Pito yan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, if I ask you to give me the sample space, the sample space has... Seven elements. Eto. So, I listed down all the lakes in alphabetical order. Again, the order does not matter in listing down all the elements of a given set. Okay? Kahit mag-jumble-jumble yung mga elements, okay lang. Pareho pa rin yun. Okay? I'm just going to write again here the sample space. Okay? So, it contains all the seven lakes of San Pablo, Laguna. Now. Let's consider this event. Okay? Event A is choosing a lake that starts with the letter P. If you check, we have two lakes here that start with the letter P. Palakpakin and Pandin. B is the event of choosing a lake with six letters. Okay? So, pwede nyo namang isa-isa yung account ito. Okay? And then you'll see Pandin is the only lake that has six letters. Okay? Yan. Okay? Now, we get the union and intersection of these two events. Okay? So, let's have A union B. So, all you have to do is to combine all the elements. The union contains these two lakes, Palakpakin and Pandin. Okay? Now, we take the intersection. Okay? Meron ba? Meron ba silang common element? Meron bang pareho silang element? Yes. 
pandin. So this set contains pandin. Now, if you look closely, yung A union B is exactly A. Yeah? Tapos, yung A intersection B is exactly B. Kita nyo? Okay, ganito yun. If you have two sets, okay, tapos, di ba, this is the bigger set kasi mas madami yung laman niya. This is the smaller set. Kapag yung smaller set properly contained doon sa bigger set, ibig sabihin nun, lahat ng laman ng smaller set na kay bigger set. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng properly contained. Okay? So, if you have that situation, yung union nila is equal to the bigger set. Ito. And their intersection is equal to the smaller set. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.